My name is Derek with Redding Heating and Cooling. We've been in business for 10 years. We went full time five years ago. We do anything from boilers to forced air furnaces, plumbing, water treatment work, and we cover all of Western New York and Northern Pennsylvania. We've worked with Navian for about five years, and when they first talked about bringing the furnace out to the HVAC side of things, we really wanted to try one out, so we put one in here and wanted to see how it worked for us. We had great success with it. We really enjoyed how it heated, and we cut our bills into about half with the new Navian. So we had a couple of old 90 percenters down there that were just loud and noisy, and. Uh, weren't really heating the space like we thought they should so we ripped them out and put the new Navians in there and we've been very happy with them because they're a lot quieter. Ease of install was very easy to put them in. We've installed roughly 50 NPF hydro furnaces in our area and we've had great success with all the ones we've put in. We've never had a call back or a customer complaint with one of them. So put a handful of the NPF furnaces in, everything comes right in them. It's a matter of hooking your venting, your gas, your drain. I like the B width and the C width. They just keep it consistent. Most times with most of our retrofits, it lines right up. Yeah, it's nice to have an 80,000 now versus just the 60 and the 100 because now if we're replacing a B width furnace, we don't have to upsize to a C width with 100 or if we're taking out a B width, just a direct swap out with a B width walks you through step by step in that installation wizard, what to set up, how to set it up. Very little referencing the manual, but the few times we've gone to the manual, everything is there with great detail. We've seen a lot of cracked heat exchangers on some of the other products around the area. So when we walk into a house, when they have an issue like that, we express how a Navian would not have this issue with the boiler in the front, the hot water heat exchanger, explaining to customers that they no longer have to worry about carbon monoxide in their airstream. The forced air blowing by that heat exchanger, once they understand the concept of how a Navian NPF works, it's pretty much a sold deal. I grew up in a house with hydronic heat my whole life, and then when I bought my first house, it had forced air with a conventional furnace in it. With the hydronic fan coil the, the NPF furnace uses, you don't notice that dry air nearly as much and I've had a few customers after this winter tell me that what a huge difference it makes their humidifier didn't have to run nearly as much so then they're saving on water bills and stuff like that as well. So we've had these furnaces installed for a little over a year now and we've noticed when we went back to do the cleaning checks on them we check the water level we bring water with us we've never had to fill one after running for over a year so with having the Navian furnace it's an easy sale to talk about. We're uh, very excited to see where Navian is going in the future with the forced air products, whether it's heat pumps or ACs. We really think that we can put a big cut into the industry with Navian. Mm -hmm.